I push it forward. Get it off some of those. Now this one come off. <laughs> if it's in a good way or bad way, I'm not sure. come so far that I have double checked again on YouTube the other videos how to get this off because I've taken out the screws on the top there there and then this one for there and there then it's not supposed to be more screws I have taken out the one in the front here so I can get into that part. Put the tools away. It's start to be scary because a lot of tools are lying, falling down in other places. Here's the screw for the clutch uh, slave cylinder. No, it's only supposed to get this bent out from the system to be able to take out the lights, so now I'm going to try that. Wish me luck. To get the light out, I have to get the front bumper going forward. And to do that, I have to get this on loose. On the videos I have checked, I don't think they had a washer system. So now I'm not sure how to take that on this, but I have to check what is inside. this one come off <laughs> if it's in a good way or bad way I'm not sure that could be an interesting project screwdriver or something to open up the clips I think this is a clip like this 
this that's the way it looks yeah then that light is free first one on the main concern now is this this was not the way to do that no, I'm trying to get this one off, maybe without breaking too many parts. Ah, this one is a long sucker. Ah, get this piece off here too. The clips are giving after, so I just have to deal with after. You need to have to take down all of this. It's easy. It's easier to fix the other shit. When I was taking all that, the whole bumper just come off. Of course, uh, I don't have the plate in the bottom front because that one was broken. I screwed it out. So now everything is loose. Just hanging too much on the light wire, so I just have to get to remove this and hang up the bumper again. So I don't put more pressure on it. Yeah. Because it's too fit. There, and a clip still. I'm dropping to the, the clips, drop into this position, and here, and then the light are off. Now we have taken off. A lot of the front part of the car. You hey or not? Okay. I didn't mean to tear it up this much, but to see how this works, it's good to come in here. Now I have to start worrying about this washer system. How I can fix that? If I can fix it, or if it's just as easy just to buy a new piece.
would have been very nice to know which parking sensor is bad also because I think one of them are bad maybe it would be easy to fix it and I'm here but I don't have the tools for doing that <coughs> so now I have to find out how I can fix this one Looks like it's a two-piece system. Yeah, I have to find some tools to look at that later. But at least things are going forward. The lights are out. Now I just have to make some space downstairs, I think, to take all this. And on this car is even some more things. So I have to see which part of it I have to take out. High intense density ballast. I think my system is under there somewhere. So I have to check. Maybe I just start by screwing it out and see. I need to go in to fix my things. I think it's underneath here. No, it don't look stupid. Okay, I just have to check more. At least this one is new for me, so I have to go and check something. So, thank you for following the progress, even if it's slow. I found out some more today. This I haven't seen before. I found out that the whole of this is going to just drop down because I have taken out the bottom plates. So, and should I have a new bottom plate? So I should I order that? Should I order the washer thing here too? Because it's it's important. So, more work than I was hoping for but something went easier than I was hoping for so just hoping and continue but now I have to check this so please uh, if you like the video the information please like it if you want to see what's going to happen more with this project and a lot of my other projects then subscribe to the channel then we we'll see thank you